mitigation. Yes. Okay. Um, the core and EPA have been criticized over the years for uh, failing to adequately oversee uh, mitigation projects. Are you seeing things in the states um, where the states are uh, perhaps being more effective in um, requiring or overseeing mitigation requirements uh, for wetlands mm -hmm. permits? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a great question. I think that comes back to a little bit to the 401 certification conditions that states can add for additional mitigation. Mm -hmm. But I would say that generally the idea that mitigation banks and would become sort of the the easy solution um, really hasn't proven true. I think we've we've found in some of the studies that have been done by a group that that we're familiar with, the Association of State Wetland Managers, have looked at some of the mitigation programs that states have. Uh, one state, Georgia, we talked about, has a very effective program according to to the state wetland managers that they've really embraced it. Ohio, New Jersey have done studies on the effectiveness of, of mitigation. Um, and the concern is that bank, the banking is not necessarily working as well as it could. Um, so there are probably some areas for, for improvement there. Um, so I think mitigation always sits oddly you know, with me. I um, remember a few years ago, I had the opportunity to go down to Florida and um, and went to the mitigation site that was run by uh, the Walt Disney Company to to offset the wetlands that were taken to build the Magic Kingdom and Epcot and the 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 exponentially growing um, Disney Center in Central Florida, and and we went out to this area and they said this is what we're mitigating, you know, this is our project. And it was a beautiful project. They were taking land that had been converted to um, grazing land for cows. It was an inappropriate use for that type of land in Florida. They were replanting native grasses. They were doing some really fabulous things in partnership with a major non-governmental organization, a conservancy group. It was a beautiful, very large site. They were doing some natural burning, you know, trying to really restore the ecosystem. But, but I remember driving away thinking, I'm not sure that all of that mitigation <laughs> really sense. takes care of 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 what happens, you know, in central Florida. Right. And so I do right. think that there is a real disconnect between mitigation um, and and the real ecosystem impacts.